I knew that if I made that one video, I wouldn't shut up about this. But, oh well. Hi, so today I want to talk about my asexual experience and how I found out I was ace, I suppose. Okay, so it all started when someone came up to me, I was 14, and they said, you gotta kiss someone or we won't be friends anymore because like you're the only one who has not kissed anyone in our friend group and that's not right. So you gotta find a boy and you gotta kiss that boy. So I found a boy, I kissed the boy, I felt nothing. I found a girl, I kissed the girl, sexually I felt nothing. I did fall for the girl and I kind of dated her for a long time. Uh, it was my first relationship and it was amazing. Anyway, so like I went from never thinking about sexuality to already knowing I was not a heterosexual. So I never had the I think I'm a heterosexual part of my life, which is funny to me, but anyway. So I stopped dating this girl when I was 15. And from 15 to 17, I was sure I was bisexual because at the time I only knew what heterosexual, homosexual and bisexual meant. I didn't know any other names of different sexualities and different genders and all that. So I was sure I was bi. Then when I was 17, I found out what asexuality and pansexuality meant. And in my head, everything was like... You're either one or the other, like your romantic status and your uh, your romantic orientation and your sexual orientation They were the same to me, so I thought I cannot be ace because I like kissing people I enjoy kissing people, I don't feel sexually attracted to them But I do enjoy kissing people and I enjoy dating people, so I'm not asexual So I was sure I was pen for a long time, long time, like from 17 to 19 some stuff happened in the way. When I was 18, I found out that my romantic orientation and my sexual orientation did not have to match and that they were different things. When I was 18, I also found out about non-binary genders and I was like... <sighs> but that's a whole other video. <laughs> I was like, okay, so I might be ace, but I had a lot of internalized aphobia. I don't know if I can say that, but I did have. I still do sometimes, which is really sad, but like, I had a lot and I denied being asexual or part of the ace spec, like, a hundred percent. I was like, I'm not that, that's weird, I don't want to be that, so I'm not gonna say I'm that. So I came out to my mom as pen and I started finding out when I was 19 about uh, the fact that asexuality was a whole spectrum and that you could be asexual and enjoy kissing people and that there were ace people who were sex repulsed but ace people who are sex indifferent and ace people who are sex positive so that made a lot of sense to me and it wasn't until I was 19, two years ago that I finally started telling people that I'm asexual so I started talking about this with all my friends not all but like a lot of my friends and getting some pretty bad reactions. Some people telling me that I only thought I was ace because I liked girls and girls cannot have sex together because girls don't have penises. So I got a lot of bad reactions uh, from a lot of people who I thought were really close friends to me and some people who were not close to me and were asking me really personal questions like have you ever been abused or are you sure and people saying like you're gonna find the right person one day. Most people say I'm gonna find the right guy, but some people did say person. Um, and yeah, that was the initial reaction to me coming out as ace to people. My mom was super understanding. Not everyone was, but my mom was, which is a blessing. I love you, mom. I know you're watching this. <laughs> Nowadays, I say I'm ace um, because it's easier. But I'm still questioning. This is the thing about sexuality for me and gender and like identity in general. I'm never a hundred percent sure of who I am because I personally believe that identity is fluid. I talked about this in my other video, like I'm gonna link to it in the description and then you can click here to watch it. But um, I believe that identity is and can be fluid and sometimes your sexuality or gender can change or like 
not change, but you can realize things that you had never paid attention to before or I don't know, even change, fuck it. Like some people might change, yeah. I don't care, I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna risk saying that. Some people might change. And it's fine. I am kind of still questioning about my asexuality because of reasons. And like, because it, it is really hard for you to, like I'm Latina, let's start with that. So everyone expects me as a Latina and especially as a Brazilian person to be very sexual and in a sense I am because I make a lot of sexual jokes like innuendos with my friends and shit like that so it is very hard for me to disconstruct this whole stereotypical idea that uh, was told me I had to be I don't know if that makes sense I'm still questioning about where in the A spec I belong which is fine. It's fine to be questioning, it's fine to question your gender or your sexual or romantic orientation. But I hope this video helps someone who's questioning. And I hope this video also helps people who are like very confused because they were, they were certain they were this and now they think they might be that. It's fine, like it's fine to question everything about who you are, it's fine to question that and it's fine to say you're something and then go and say you're something else because sometimes things change and sometimes we just don't know ourselves that well anyway that was what i had for today i'm sorry this video is kind of all over the place um if you have any questions about asexuality or sexuality in general or even gender put them in the comments down below or in any of my social media the links are always in the description i will do my best to answer them i'm not an encyclopedia so i might not know everything you ask me but I will try answering questions if you have any. Also, I'm gonna put the links uh, to two channels that are great about LGBT plus issues and feminism in the description. It's Ash Hardell's and Riley Dennis channels. They're both amazing people and their channels are great, so you can check those two channels out. If you want to, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it or if you want to support me anyway, you can subscribe to know whenever I upload a new video and if you want to be notified, then click the bell thingy next to the sub subscribe button. And if you want to share it with your friends, I would be thankful. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye! TMI with Mars! TMI with Mars! I'm drinking tea! I got too excited about this joke. Oh my god. <laughs>